is a sweet indulgence without the guilt. Hi, Sharks. I'm Ahima. And I'm Michael. We seek $250,000 for 5% of our company, Sweet Kiwi. Sharks, as a married couple. And parents. And business partners. We can tell you life is all about balance. balance. But when it comes to eating, we all struggle to balance eating healthy with eating what tastes good. Let's be honest, all the indulgent stuff we love isn't good for us. And that's where we come in with Sweet Kiwi. That's right. <laughs> Sweet Kiwi is real Greek yogurt whipped to frozen perfection. It's not just any frozen yogurt. It's an amazing, delicious, whipped brick frozen yogurt, low in calorie, that's surprisingly great for you. It's made with nutrient-dense ingredients, and it supports gut health and wellness. It's made from real milk sourced from smallholder, family-owned farms, and each pint boasts of 22 grams of protein, prebiotic fiber, gut-healthy probiotics, and a unique blend of immunity-boosting superfoods, all of which work better together. Kind of like us. Exactly. So, Sharks, who's excited about whipping up the frozen Let's dessert go. aisle with Sweet Let's Kiwi? Go. <laughs> and changing Let's go. the way consumers experience food. In front of you, we have six different flavors. We have vanilla bean, cookies and cream, chocolate hazelnut, which are our classic flavors. You have a raspberry froze, which is one of our innovative flavors, a hibiscus and ginger, which is one of our more inclusive flavors, and our mango mojito as well. The raspberry froze is amazing. It is fantastic. That's actually my Phenomenal. favorite. That's oh. actually oh my, my god, favorite. I love the cookies and cream. Thank you. How much <laughs> added sugar do you put into this? Um, so each pint has averagely between 35 to 40 grams of total sugars. That is good. Okay, so tell us about you. Like, how did you come up with this, and what, what's your background? Um, so my background, I'm from Nigeria. I was born in Nigeria, raised between Nigeria and the UK, and then I moved to Dallas, Texas. Yeah! <laughs> go Mavs. <laughs> um, so when I was in Dallas, I was diagnosed with a uterine fibroid, and I had to go see a doctor. And I was just 22 at the time, and she was telling me all this stuff about surgery. And so I started thinking maybe a lifestyle change could be a different um, solution. And so I started researching. I changed my diet, started eating better, but I struggled with the dessert part, and I found frozen yogurt, but I started realizing it was just not healthy. So much sugar, low fat, but crazy amount of sugar. So I started making this stuff in my home kitchen. You um, did? <laughs> yes. And, and you have no chef or ice cream background? No, and I kept getting better at it, and then I went to Penn State to perfect the recipe. I've taken all the courses from culture dairies to ice cream manufacturing and just kept getting better, and um, that's how Sweet Kiwi came about. I was about to open a store in Dallas, and my brother was getting married in Nigeria, and so I went to Nigeria. And I decided they didn't have anything healthy at all. So we opened stores in Nigeria. We grew that business. In I, Nigeria? Yes. Correct. I Retail the, stores? Yes. Brick and mortar stores. Wow. <laughs> so I grew that business to one of the biggest frozen yogurt companies in Africa. What? And we went How long through, ago was this? How long ago? Wow. Um, this, I, I started in 2011. Really? And what's okay. it called there? Sweet Kiwi. Sweet Kiwi. <laughs> oh, same name. Yes. Same name. Does it, it's still around. It, yes, it's still it is. running it. Now, is the international mean, business part of this offer? No, it's not. So Sweet Kiwi in the U.S. is separate, is registered as a separate uh, SBB by itself. How, how big is it? Give Lifetime revenue is about $2 million. We want to take all the success that we've been able to experience and be able to take that experience to build a CPG brand. But so you focused sell? on the American business and so came back here and I started getting approached by people who thought that it was a phenomenal product, and that's how we relaunched. We were approached by Whole Foods, and right now we're in Whole Foods stores, Walmart stores. How many? So we're just in about 1,700 stores. That's not bad. So we've been in Whole Foods for over two years. We just launched in Walmart this year. We just launched this month into Kroger nationally. What are the USA sales? So, so this year, we've already done $650,000 and we are on track to do about between 1.2 to 1.4 by end of year. Wow. Can you walk us through the price model? What does it sell for at retail on average? Okay, so our products are sold between $4.97 all the way up to $6.99. How, do, how does that compare? Is We're that... pretty competitive in comparison to other products on the shelf, but if you think about what makes Sweet Kiwi so unique, that it's the only frozen whipped Greek yogurt on the shelf. So guys, if you make 600,000 this year, will you break even, will you lose money, will you make money? So we're already uh, break even cash flow. We're not looking for outside capital to be profitable. What we're really focused on, on is to one, build a brand, marketing, and really focusing on taking 
Speaking to me to that I've next heard Sunday. enough. I'm going to make you an offer, OK? It's going to reflect the risk I see inherent in this deal. Um, this category is very crowded. The fact that you've got Kroger's very hard to get in. I'll give you $250,000 for 20%. OK. Wow. Thank you for your offer. We would like to hear other Absolutely. offers. Absolutely. All right, so listen. My, my thoughts are you're extremely impressive to open a business in a whole nother country. But at the valuation, as well as it being one of my first journeys heading down this route, it's an expensive education for me. Um, I love the product, but as for the business, I'm out. Thank you. Thank you very one much. Guys, you, you alluded to the marketing. You know, how do you convey that this is great? You know, because you're not big enough to go and do a national ad campaign. What works? Right. So right now, what works for us is doing demos, um, doing promos, um, oftentimes. And what's your cost? Cost for of goods sold right now average is two dollars and twenty-five cents. Okay, so it's our goal is to get that under two twenty because as we reach economies of scale, we'll eventually get there. Why? Because one, you have to price in the promotions, you have to price in the marketing. That's the right. all part of the model. What we've been able to achieve over the last year, we went from selling under 320 to now selling above 420. That's your wholesale price. That's our wholesale price. That's it's really expensive. expensive. Really? You know, guys, you got, you got, you got an you offer on the table. You, you, know, you got an offer on the table. Yeah. We're also getting a lot of press coverage. We're fe featured I know, but I, you know, like in my, I, I'm rooting for you. You have an offer on the table. What were you going to say? I was saying, coming back to what you said earlier, Mark, you brought up the very valid point. Biggest problem that we have to solve right now is marketing. How do we build a brand, and how do we tell a story in a very, very cluttered world? That's actually what the capital is actually going to be used for. You know, it, it, based on my frozen farmer experience, right? I mean, we worked really hard to be really successful. Isn't that competitive and it's to working. You? Yeah, it is. Um, I love the product, but I'm sorry I'm going to have to be out. She wants to kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, let me, let me step in. Look. I kept on asking about marketing because it is the hardest question. Correct. You've solved every other question. But there's huge uncertainty, and you didn't really have a response of what you're going to do. I don't know for certain what that path is. So for those reasons, I'm out. I don't know for so certain let's what's going to happen. Robert. I don't know what's going to happen for certain tomorrow either. Yeah, you but know? at least you have a marketing plan for your products. Well, I, Mark, you know. can I just say that um, when I started this business in 2011, nice. um, I was so unsure. I never thought I'd be an entrepreneur. I always wanted to do something that was going to help people. I wanted to work for the UN. I was volunteering for the IRC in Dallas. We were in Dallas, of course. And and um, the one reason I knew that I could right, do, I, do right. this was the I'm exciting. Out. out, gone. I don't know what you're doing. You say you're an entrepreneur. I'm you focused. focus on the money. They're all out. There's only one guy left. I made an offer when there was all these I'm sharks. So, so, so. Robert is Mr. still Wonderful's in. Mr. Wonderful's pissed, OK? I'm out. Mr. Robert's Wonderful. still in. I, I, I understand I don't you're care. pissed. I don't care. I'm out. You got Robert. Go for it. You know, I've learned uh, business is about making money, not okay. always about emotion. I mean, that's just. That's just vaudeville It's my theatrics. money, and I'll cry if I want yeah, to. Yeah, you can. And cry and, you are. <laughs> you know, there is no. Well, Robert, you step up. There is no certainty in life, right? I mean, you, you went to a country, you didn't know anything. My dad came here at 37 on a boat, didn't even speak the language. What certainty did he have? What I look for is with people that can land on their feet and adapt. Adaptability is the greatest strength of an entrepreneur. I don't have a lot of investment in this space, but I love this space. And I want to learn. And I've been looking to learn with somebody. I've been looking to partner with somebody where I can use my capital and my experience with enterprises and we can build something greater. And there are no two better people that I'm gonna put my money into than the two of you. Why can't this be a 50 million, $100 million business and I can help you get there? So I will pick up Kevin's emotional theatrics off the ground. Thank you very much. I'll pick up that same offer. I'll give you the 250000 for 20%. And why not us? Can I make a counter offer? Come on, after that great speech, man. <laughs> I, I'll, tell you what, before, I, I'll tell you what before the yeah, speech. That was what? pretty good theatrics. Come on. <laughs> I love the, the speech. The only good answer I, I there was I, yes, baby. I, I love the speech. I, I like to counter by saying we'd like to offer you 71.1% in equity and throw in 5% advisor shares. 
Your counter is 250,000 for 12 and a half percent. For 7.1 percent in straight equity, 5 percent advisory share. 12.1 total. I'll go down. I'll split the difference with you. I'll go. I'll go 250,000 for 16 percent. I mean, we're both learning here. You got to believe in me. I believe in you. We can make this thing happen. What do you think? It's going to come on up across. Okay. So we appreciate the offer, and. Would like to say yes. <laughs> wow, wasn't sure what was coming after that. <laughs> Look Congrats, at this guys. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you very awesome. much. <laughs> yeah, thank Great you very job. Much. My gosh, so impressive. Oh my well, thank you guys. Congrats. Congrats. Thank, thank you very much. much. Nice Great save. Great job. Thank, thank you. you. When Mr. Wonderful said he was pissed, we certainly didn't want him to be pissed. You never want to leave a good offer on the table. So when Robert came in, we really jumped at the opportunity to close the deal. We're going to grow this company into becoming a $100 million company. Make Better yet. a billion dollar company. <laughs> Absolutely. That's right. <laughs>